What's up guys? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado and I have my lab turned off for a minute so I can explain my next procedure here in the Immaculate Inoculation Series. So we started off with single spores in a solution and then we plated them out onto an auger petri dish. So we've got some fresh petri dishes um, here set up in a mathematical permutation because we're going to take each one of these single spore isolates so it was a single spore that germinated we separated it out put it on its own petri dish and now it grew into its own culture and we are going to cross every one with each other systematically so spore number one will get crossed with two three, four, five, and six, and eight. Um, we just selected the top phenotypes. Some of them kind of stalled out, so that's why we don't see all eight here. Just, uh, I think number seven didn't do too well. So we're gonna cross all of them out on their own Petri dishes, and then in the hopes that they will mate so if you're looking for more information and a more detailed overview, um, you can check out our video breeding, mush breeding mushrooms from spores. That's kind of where we started out this huge long project, but these are local Colorado oysters. I'm gonna turn the flow hood on and flip the camera around so you can get a really good bird's eye view of what's happening. Um, and then just in case anyone's wondering, I've just got some blue um, disinfectant because I just went through all my transfers. If you want to check out that video, um, it's a really in-depth video on preserving the already mated pairings onto um, slants, liquid cultures, and um, grain spawn moving on to the next level. So for these ones, you can more systematically breed and that way if you find a really good phenotype, you can s uh, spread out that genetics and select the haploid culture that holds that gen genetics. So I don't know what is the prominent genetics here out in Colorado, but I'm looking for fast growth, which all of these have achieved fast growth. So I've already selected for that. And then um, I guess the next selection is yield and flavor and appearance so we're growing these for the farmers market we'll put these up as soon as they're ready but i'm going to flip this camera around and show you the procedure of how to systematically mate single um, spore isolates hey guys i'm just going to prepare my workstation and spray off my hands like always before i start this and to make things easy, I'm just going to label them with their numbers. So this is going to be all of the isolate ones. So I'll just do summer, oyster one, all the way down at first. So first I'm going to take my one and inoculate it all the way down.
All right, guys, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video on selectively pairing single spore isolates on agar. Um, I'll be parafilming these up and putting them in the incubator, and they should take about five to seven days to really give a definitive answer whether or not they're compatible or not. So we're going to be looking for overlapping colonies or a zone of inhibition. And um, I have a really good video on that in our Breeding Mushrooms from Spores original playlist. But I thought I would show you guys the whole process over um, in a little bit more of a simplified, streamlined fashion. I like setting up my plates this way. I feel like it takes the least amount of time. And um, it really minimizes contamination if you're just lifting up the lids a little bit. So I'll go ahead and pair film these. Give us a thumbs up um, if you like this video. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. Spread the word. Um, I would love for more and more people to start breeding like we're doing now. Um, I think that it's going to be beneficial for the whole industry in the long term. All right, guys. Um, I'll keep you updated as soon as these results come through. And stay tuned for some more mycology videos like these. Much love.